So if I had to guess, you probably clicked on this video because you're trying to pick a niche for your SMMA. And I'm here to tell you that the winning niche is MedsBoss. I'm just kidding, of course. But I do have a question for you. Do you know who Ronald Jones is? My guess is that you probably don't. But he's one of the best athletes in the world. He's really talented and recently he just won a Super Bowl. So why do you not know who he is? Because as good as he is, he competes in an ultra competitive, saturated market. Now, imagine if Ronald went back to play high school football. He would dominate. So why am I telling you this? Because this is what happens when you pick the wrong SMMA niche. And as talented as you may be, it's going to be very hard to put up good numbers in ultra competitive markets. Alternatively, you could do SMMA on easy mode and pick a niche that aligns with you to make a lot more money, kind of like going back and playing high school football. But before we get into how to pick that niche, I want to let you know that if you want one-on-one -on -one help, well, group call, but one-on-one -on -one support for free to help you scale your SMMA, you can click the link in the description and you can sign up for one of our free coaching calls. However, we only do 25 spots a week and right now we got over 200 people on the waiting list. So if you're a little bit more serious about scaling your SMMA, you can join our 30 days to first client challenge so we can get you there ASAP. Now, question, have you ever been fishing? And the reason I ask you that is because if you have, and if, even if you haven't, it doesn't really matter, you'll know that there's two types of fish. We got the salmon and we got the halibut. Trust me, it, it'll make sense when I'm done. But the reason I'm telling you this is because both are great catches, right? Both taste good, but they require different bait in order to catch them. And if you use a salmon lure to try and catch a halibut, it probably won't work and vice versa. And this is the same thing that happens when we choose our niches and our offers. We want to think of our niche as the fish and our offer as the bait. So in this video, I'm going to explain to you what fish niche you should go after to put scaling SMMA on easy mode. I have another offers video coming out, but before that, you should also check out my why a strong offer will not help your SMMA video in the description. So what niche should you go after? Now, before I get into what niche, I'll let you know that Joel Kaplan says all niches suck and this is 100% true, but that's a disappointing thing to hear. And I don't disappoint the people. So here is how to pick a niche. It's a simple formula. It's resonation times potential equals your niche score. So resonation is how much do people relate to the niche and the people who work inside the industry? Like how much do you relate to the industry as a whole? Why is this important? Not because you need to follow your passion. You always need to follow the money, right? But because it'll make sales and client relationships a breeze. So if I was to restart, I would probably choose the hockey school industry, not because it's the winning niche and it's the magic formula, but because I resonate with the niche so much. I played hockey for 14 years and then I used to coach hockey as I was starting my agency to actually make any money because we all know I didn't in the beginning. So that is why if I was to, you know, launch an agency now and I was to go into that industry, I'd be able to build rapport with people. I'd be able to, you know, tell stories and I'd be able to act like one of them. And that would help me tremendously in the beginning of the sales process, as opposed to if I was to go into, you know, the med spa niche, I don't know anything about med spas. I don't relate with a med spa owner. I have no real interest in talking to med spa owners. I'd much rather, you know, hop on a zoom call with another hockey guy who's just like me. And that is why when you resonate with your niche, it'll make it so much easier to get your agency off the ground and scale faster. So how you can decide what niches are right for you is you can ask yourself, you know, what are your hobbies, right? What are past jobs that you've had and what are you interested in? And then once you have some ideas, you can run them through a resonation score, which basically you want to just simply put in your own mind on a scale of one to 10, how much do you resonate with your niche? So in my case for hockey schools, I'd have to give myself a nine out of 10. Now, the second thing is the potential score. And you may have heard me talking in another video about all the different factors that go into choosing a niche. And I will say right now that although there are so many different factors that go into winning versus losing niches and all that kind of stuff, these are the main four. You know, the 80 20 rule is in full force when it comes to choosing a niche. Although you can look at things like recession proof and high client worth and all this kind of stuff, right? These are the big 
four. These are the 20% of the work that's going to get you 80% of the results when you're choosing a niche. And that is easy to target, right? Is it easy to get into contact with the decision maker? If you're always having to talk to gatekeepers and all that kind of stuff, it's going to be challenging. Evergreen offer, right? Is it something that can be run all year long? For a lot of hockey schools, they don't operate in the middle of the summer. So that's not really an evergreen offer. It'd be very hard to scale a hockey school agency in August. Are they in pain? Are they struggling to get clients, right? Like there is some niches out there where the all the companies are basically booked up full, right? So in that case, you know, there's not, you know, they're not in pain. Like they don't have a problem for you to solve. And the last one is purchasing power. Like, you know, all niches are broke and all niches have rich people, but you know, like some niches, the majority of people are broke, right? Like in the real estate niche, the majority of people that you hop on the call with will not have any money. So like I said earlier, there's more factors that you can consider, but those are the main ones. And what you want to do is for every yes that you get, you want to add two and a half to your score. So hockey schools doesn't have a ton of potential and that's why I give it a five out of 10. Now, to get your result, you take your first score and you times it by your second score. The result equals your niche score and this is out of 100. So in my case for hockey schools, it would be a nine times a five, which gives me a 45 out of 100, which isn't a perfect score, right? And so in this case, I would probably go back to the drawing board and find a niche that I resonate with and has a little more potential. So my selfish, greedy, unethical, evil desire is to help you make five to 15K with your agency for free. So by then we can potentially partner and scale to 25 grand and beyond. And the ways that I help people just like you pull this off is to number one, you can join my free SMMA coaching calls. However, there's only 25 slots available, but there is a wait list. So if they are full, you can just join the wait list and you'll get notified right away when they open back up. They're not closed for the month. We only do them seven days in advance. Another one you can do is you can join the public RC discord server. I regularly hop in there, answer questions, do a little bit of Q and a and help you guys out. Or if you're like, no, like, listen, I'm serious. Like I'm not, you know, just another wannabe. I'm not just another guy who's watched one too many Iman Godzi videos and is on a little bit of a motivation high. I actually want to make this SMMA thing work out. And if that sounds like you, you can sign up for the 30 days to first client challenge, which again, the link will be in the description. So with that, I appreciate you giving me a little bit of your time in order to listen to me talk. And in return, I hope you got more value than you had to give up. So with that, I will see you guys in the next video.